Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about investing in what you see every day. Kirby, I'm going to hand this one off to you. The key to what you just said was invest in what you see every day, not what you do every day. For me, I don't do much that I would invest in. Um, but what I see other people doing is what I invest in. And for the life of me, I know our adage has always been only thing you got to do is invest in an S and P 500 or a mutual fund invest index to the S and P 500 or the NASDAQ 100. We always talk about that, but for some reasons, people want to be risque and, you know, they want to go into individual stocks, the stocks that, you know, that's in the S and P 500 is also stocks that you see every day. You see people buying every day. So what I mean by that, if you, walk around people house or you walk around your house the stuff that you see is the stuff that you should invest in i mean i a lot of people do laundry so that's clorox if you a big bleach person cleaning bleach person that's clorox the stock then you have you know laundry detergent shampoos and you know they got head and shoulders they got tied they got all this other different name brands out there arm and hammer but then that's Procter & Gamble, that's the company. Um, another one, you always see people with iPhones. People buying them left and right. Every time it's a new iteration every year, people lining up outside the stores to buy them. That's where you should invest. You should invest where the people are putting most of their money into. People, everybody and their mama got a Netflix account. Hint, hint. That's giving you the hint of where you're going. Uh, Disney, everybody always talking about going to Disney World with Alex, us living in, the, living in Florida, you closer to Disney World than I am. But the line going to Disney World every day is, you know, backing up I-4 all the way damn near to Tampa every day. That's where people are spending their money. That's where if people are spending, if a large amount of people are spending their money at on a service, on a product, that's where you should invest it. You don't have to be doing stuff sexy and sweet trying to find the next unicorn out there you just get something that's tried and true and the companies that i just named was just some of the few but those are some that's out there yeah when you can start to actually look at investing that way it, it's interesting because you see these companies every day you know what they are and i think that's the easiest way for a novice investor to invest in if they are looking at investing and what I mean is like everyone knows Amazon is a is a good stock. Everyone knows that Amazon is a good company is what I mean. So if you're investing in the stock market, just think of what you see in that sense. You know, Walmart is top dog in the grocery chain, basically. So why not think of or consider Walmart stock? I'm not recommending. I'm not saying buy Walmart stock. I'm just saying think in that sense. You know, everyone is buying on Amazon Prime. You know that Amazon Prime is in now, what, 70, 80% of American households. Why not consider Amazon stock? And it's opening your eyes to that sense, you know, because we go about life looking at these companies and seeing these companies on a consumer basis as from a consumer perspective. And we know their capabilities and we know how big they are as a consumer. So why not switch the way of thinking and look at it from a point of as, as an investor? Right. And then for like the sneaker heads out there, the ones that love the shoes, people buying shoes left and right, they didn't create a secondary market business for them. But you first got to get it from the parent company. Nike. People buy Nikes. They got contracts with Michael Jordan. They got contracts with LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook. You name it, they got a contract with them and people follow them through social media and sports and all that. They're going to keep buying them to the end of time people was buying nikes when i was a kid that was over 40 years ago and now we're 40 years later and they still buying them now again i all, i said at the beginning you buying what everybody else is buying so for me i've been living in florida for 10 years i have never went to disney so i'm not looking at oh if i if i if i'm not gonna go there i'm not gonna buy it no everybody else is spending money there like me, I'm not a big sneakerhead, so I don't care what shoes I'm wearing. I just throw on a pair and go outside. I like to tell you, I look like a homeless guy most of the time. But it don't it don't matter to me. But I know everybody else. I'm cognizant of what everybody else doing. 
So I buy what everybody else is buying. When it comes to iPhones, Alex probably got like an iPhone 28 right now. Me, I'm probably sitting at an iPhone 3. You know, I I don't, I'm not there with the stand up with the latest and greatest on things, but I know and I can see everybody else is spending money on it. So, and I'm not saying, hey, what you and your family are spending money on or what your neighbor, look in a mass, you know, a mass, like you said with Walmart. Mass amount of people go to Walmart because the prices are cheaper. That's a place you want to go. I mean, forget how you feel about Walmart. Like, oh, well, I don't like that place. You know, people show up in their pajamas and whatever, what have you. Forget all that. It don't matter how people showing up. The parking lot is always packed. So if they're going to spend their money, you want to be invested in it. But all the stocks that we mentioned today, these are not stock recommendations. These are not uh, stocks we're saying go out buy now. But for all the ones that we mentioned today, you can have all of them encompassed in one stop if you just go by the market. That's SPX, that's SPY, a mutual fund that's indexed to uh, one of the index, the NASDAQ or the S&P 500. That's how you get all those bundled up in one instead of trying to sit here and go individual stock, individual stock, individual stock. It will save you a lot of headache, heartache, and a lot of emotional pain seeing the swings of the different individual stocks and just buy one and encompass it all. You know what you have. You know that it's tried and true and people are going to keep going there to the end of time. So just keep putting your money there and that will give you a better financial future. Well, then we said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. Share, like this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.